So hi there. So as I just said, I haven't been here for a while. I have been studying to become a makeup artist last year and I'm still studying. So I'm doing some other studies. Uh, next education but I'm here to show you in January I start with my hair styling lessons and I just bought the Diva Feel the Heat crimper so here it is it shows promising I watched some videos on YouTube and I thought well I was sold so these videos were very fit for purpose I'm opening the box so this was the top of the box and it looks like this on the inside and I think this looks a little bit better because I just opened the, the mini crimper and I have it over here. And so this is this is the mini one, yeah, as you can see. And that came in, in quite a, a box with a lot of packaging material that I had to throw away. This looks a little bit better already. Look, it looks like this if you look in the box. And then I'm going to take it out. and watch what it will look like in real because yeah, on the video it's always different than when you see it and touch it in real life I'm just I'm being a little bit clumsy over here but taking it out and I think just as with the mini crimper that I just unboxed this one has a, I believe this is a UK plug as well. And if you do not read the, uh, if you do not read the little booklet that comes with it, the little user guide, you probably wouldn't know that you had to use some tools to open this plug and take the, the cap off and then you can perfectly use it here in, in Holland as well. Um, <clears throat> I will open the end so it comes with a very long and like this which you can put away from you ah, and look what I like about this one this is different than the mini one so this one actually twists and if you look at the mini one and that's probably since it's that small but it's uh, stuck so this is a, a set uh, wire and that's different from this one so this one is really turning and also if you look at the other differences yeah the, the, the logo or the, the text on top is a little bit different so this says feel the heat um, intelligent digital crimper and uh, the small one says yeah mini pro styling so I, I assume it's all a little bit yeah, it, it, it's everything in small. You also see if you look at the, the little plates, the iron plates, you have one, two, three, four of these here. And uh, here you have one, two, three, four, five. This is bigger, the plates are bigger. And um, yeah, what's the rest of it? You have the, the three different um, uh, possibilities to heat it up. And that's also what it says, I think, on top of the box. Let me see. What did it say? Sorry for that. So it heats up till uh, 110 degrees, or you can choose for 180 degrees, or you can choose for 220 degrees. And then maybe something still from the user guide. I hardly ever read a user guide, but I think that in this case it's um, it's good to do so it have it has a 12 month warranty and key features yeah okay high heat crimping iron creates instant texture quickly easily in preparation for dressing or creating big volume green uh, ceramic plates infused with argan oil yeah i forgot to say that so they provide excellent control and shine for a superior finish Digital heat control with variable settings from 110 degrees to 220 degrees. Heat up time is uh, 10 seconds to 110 degrees, 30 seconds to 180 degrees. And a, sp a special artificial hair setting is for at least 110 degrees. So whenever you have hair extensions, it might not be that good if you choose for the 180 degrees or 220 degrees uh, settings because you might ruin your extensions. And then you might want to opt for the 110 degrees. 
deep floating plates for a consistent and rapid for professional finish. Auto shut off uh, energy saver that shuts down after 60 minutes if uh, unused. Far, inf uh, far in, in infrared conditioning and multi voltage for worldwide use. Okay, I think those are the most important uh, things to, to, to uh, share with you right now. What does it say? Oh, yeah, the cleaning and maintenance. Ensure that the unit is unplugged and cool and wipe off with. Um, um, with a damp cloth, do not scrub and do not use an, um, a cleaning fluid to clean as damage will occur. I think those are the most important things just to share with you right now. And actually I must say I can't wait just to use it. So if I have some time this afternoon I will also make a little video for you where I can show you the result and how, how, how it works. First I need some tools to um, make the plug fit for purpose but i think that will work out perfectly well so okay that was it for today bye bye